here are again. Aha, uh -huh. I think if you are here with me, just start in last place. Ladies and gentlemen, and young people, and especially runners for the 20th running of the Cliff Young Australian Six Day Race. Now is the time. Welcome again. I now, for the formal start, hand over to the Mayor of the Collar Conway Shire, Councillor Warren Ritchie. Thank you, Bill. Well, I'd certainly like to welcome the runners first and foremost because you're what it's all about. You've travelled uh, many hundreds of thousands of kilometres from 12 different uh, nations of the world to be here in Cali, participate in what uh, has become a legendary race for this community in Australia in general, the Cliff Young Australian Six Day Race. We welcome you. We hope the weather stays very much perhaps as it is this morning for the entire event. I'm sure you'll experience all facets of uh, of uh, pain and endurance, but uh, at the end of the day, uh, to have completed has been the thing I think that we're all going to admire when the, the race draws towards its conclusion. Certainly all the visitors, the backup team. Number 12, Kenji Okayama from Japan. <laughs> Number 13, from Japan, Konharo Kuroda. <laughs> Number 14, Katsuro Tanaka, from Japan. Number 15, from Tasmania, Vladislav Skavaro. Tasmania, Peter Hopkinson. <laughs> South Africa, Eric Wright. From Victoria, Dawn Parra. <laughs> Number 22, from the Czech Republic, Vlastimil Voracek. Number 23, from West Australia, the flying fossil, George Audley. <laughs> Number 24, the best ultra runner in the world, and we're wrapped to have him here, Yanis Kora. <laughs> Number 25, from South Australia, David Billet. Yeah. 
number 27 from Stephen Cello, Scotland. Number 28 from Victoria, David Jones. Number 29, with more miles to his name than anyone else here at Memorial Square, Peter Gray. Yes. Number 31, from the APT, Brock McKinley. Number 32, Arun Badwa from India. Sean Scanlon from New South Wales. Clan Lindsay Phillips. From USA, Heather Kick. Number Number 37, here for a first start of the race, Sarah Barnett from Richmond, Victoria. <laughs> Number 38, from New South Wales, John Reedy. <laughs> Number 39, from all the way across the Tasman, Graham Bates. <laughs> <laughs> Number 41, the elder statesman of Australian ultra running, Man, Number 42, Andy Lovey from the USA. <laughs> Number 43, Kevin McPhee from Victoria. <laughs> Number 45, Gary Wise from Victoria. Number 46, Ron McGregor from Victoria. Hello. Number 47, local lad from Camperdan, Don McKechnie. Oh. Number 49, big welcome today to the first Indigenous Australian here, Albie Clark from Waterford. Oh. Number 51, Brian Bloomer from Victoria. No, Brian. Uh, number 52, Ken Matchett. Zobaczcie, w tym roku jest i z tamtego roku ta, co wygrała, Debbie, czy ona Dom. Dom. I ta węgierka jest. Wszystkie te kobitki, co były, jeszcze trochę nowe. Amerykanka. I think I'd sooner run in the six days than seeing this, but we'll see how it goes. Last rejoice! For we are young and free, we've golden soil and wealth of toil, our home is good by sea. Our lands abound with nature's gifts of beauty rich and rare. In history's page, let every state advance Australia fair. In joyful straits, and let us sing, advance Australia. Thank you. 
Andziu, a my kiedy? A my w lutym. Supporting crew of plastic skfali. Sk Jemy jego te snack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. On taki fajny, śmieszny. <laughs> Come on, Australia. He's a original. No, he's yes. Papa New, uh, in, uh, New Zealand. No, he's Australian. <laughs> That's what they said. Indigenous is Australian, that's what they that's said. That's what they said. You sure? 
first time that I don't know now. Yeah, that's what they said at the presentation. Or maybe they said indigenous. No, they. It doesn't matter. It's something. Leave something for plastic, Vanja. <laughs> <laughs> she likes that one. Oh. <laughs> I have to clip your numbers for the pants, she said. What for? Because they can't see the number probably. <laughs> Remember last year when they had that bad meal, uh, bad water? Water. They did have that this morning too. Yeah. I can help her. Want to give you that, uh, that thing? And all other times only up to there. Yeah. Okay. okay, that's that's enough. That's enough. Start panicking. Thank 
here he comes, Jenna, today. Let's bring it on, let's bring it on. Let's oh, no, yeah. put him on to the world record. No, yeah. Big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, let's get it back. Let's get it back. Well done, America! Thank you! Only half an hour left and they're running strongly.
80-letni. Ja nie wiem, jak chciałabym mu coś powiedzieć. Powiedziałam mu na twarz, do. A on się tak mówi. Nie, yeah, well done, well done. Prawda, klaska i tam. Co? Ta klaska i też. Yes, yes, sure you can. Last three hours, you know, so many kilometers. He didn't even like this one. And all of a sudden, you know, he's here. 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 Jest <laughs> To nie jest Sara Barnett, ta fokulara. Tam, tam z tyłu. They were Sanders, that for five minutes. Then I, because of that uh, lightning, very bad one. Then we have a fire. The lady that was standing the blue cloud, she started smaller. Congratulations, Dad! Yeah, 
give him a round of applause. And I'll be glad to lose the Aboriginal runner to complete with the Shamsat. I know Shamsat is proud of his patch. Good on you, Albie. First Indigenous runner to complete a six-day race. When you look at the history of the sport, that is quite incredible. That's going to go for the end of Takie śmieszne te dziewczyny. No, 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 Not only the, the world track record previously held by the legendary Yanis Kuros uh, broken again. My God. Get out of the way. But then in the ultimate enduring act of take the world indoor. Uh, championship by Boussaquet from France, but he did sensationally. <laughs> and I must say this, whilst it was uniquely uh, the, ph the running phenomenon, Giannis that had to do this with his legs, his effort was also a personification of ultramarathon running and comradeship and support because the fact is that when he's a community arrived this morning um, Greek community was a terrific boost to him and you can see the pace increase with their presence but in addition to that he had somebody who was so 
selfless and sacrificial, uh, at one point giving him his own running shoes to assist him. I refer to Blastek Skeverell. This really is a historical moment, a moment that will perhaps never be repeated in history again. And if anybody who's been present today, you really are so privileged. And it's been such an honour, Giannis, to have you grace the six-day race track again. And thank you. We believe that we're going to build upon this. This is already the mecca of ultramarathon running around the world, consistently voted uh, the most scenic and picturesque venue in the world. And we want this track to be the best in the world as well. It isn't yet, but we want the track to be upgraded to be the best in the world to continue to attract the elite runners as we have this year. So thank you, everybody, all the volunteers especially. And I refer to Black Dick Travell. And for those that may not be, thank you. Yep. You might think that Vlasnik is one of our runners from one of the 12 nations. He actually comes from Tasmania, which may be the 13th nation involved here today. The Drew Kettle Award goes to... ...to go, so it's beyond that now, Peter. But I'd like to ask Peter Gray to come forward as having completed more than 10,000 kilometres. Can I just say, I don't think this lady has stopped smiling in six days. Well done, Dawn. Every time she come around, she always had a smile on her face. Going to third place in the major place getters, and excuse my pronunciation, but Katsuria Hirio Tanaka.
should be noted with over 800 kilometers on a normal year without Janos here, he would have easily won. And we come, of course, to the man who has, uh, I understand, set two world or a number of world records over this race. I understand that he broke the 500 kilometre world record. I hope I'm right in saying that. And has also broken his own world record today, as well as uh, gone past the road record, which he set in New York, as well as go past the indoor six-day race record. I speak of no other than Giannis Kouros. <laughs> Give a talk anyway. Just uh, would like to thank uh, Bill and Bev uh, Sadikin for the work uh, they put here, all the committee, especially the runners who came from overseas. Uh, it was a great race, a historical race. I think uh, good performances. Uh, even that track, which is a very difficult, probably the most difficult track that I have ever run. It's such a long race, and uh, everybody deserves congratulations because under these conditions, it's a uh, heroic effort for all of us. That's why I believe that uh, we created a great atmosphere today with uh, these extra world records, and I would like to thank not only my crew, but even most of the runners, or all of the runners, came next to me, inspiring me to find a way to give me this little tick that I needed. And finally, they were right. I mean, I was, I had some worries that I couldn't do it. But uh, most of my good uh, friends, they understand better than me. So I thank you, all of you, especially St. John's College, for their support to come from Greece. And uh, I'm here to do probably another race whenever it comes. Thank you. Also from Tasmania, number 17, Peter Hoskinson. Hey, Peter! Number 18 from the Czech Republic. Yuroslav. Oh, he's not in there. Oh, no, he's not. I had an older lift. From Victoria, from Eltham, we have Dawn Paris, number 21. Now from the Czech Republic, we have number 22, Vlastimil Dvorakic. I'm not sure whether George Audley is here, but he's from Western Australia, number 23. Our South Australian runner, number 25. Hopefully, I uh, hope she's here from Hungary, number 26, Elvira. Yeah, yeah. It should be noted that there's been a number of national records broken here, uh, and this gentleman, which I won't try to pronounce his name, won the Swedish record, and we also have another runner coming up that won the, has broken the Indian record. Uh, number 28 from Surrey Hills, David Jones. You may not be. This gentleman is a squadron leader from the ACT, number 31, Brock McKinlay. This gentleman, or the next gentleman who won, has broken an Indian record. Number 29. From New South Wales, the gentleman who has crafted most of the woodwork with. Thank you very much, Chris. Just a quick word uh, on behalf of all the runners. Um, 
it's probably it's been said once already, but it can't be said enough. Thank you very much to all the volunteers because the race wouldn't be possible without you. And another word for Andy, the race doctor, who hasn't had a mention, and he saved most of us out there more than once. And this is going to come as a bit of a surprise, but um, I'm offering $100 to the committee as the kickstart, um, subsidising Andy's airfare to come over here next year. And finally, this is another surprise, maybe in the next couple of years, if you're looking for maybe a little extra publicity for this great race, which I'm looking forward to coming to next year, Bev, possibly considering a midweek start and finish to get more publicity uh, so you don't have the week com competition with the weekend sports. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well done, Lindy. We have from the USA, perhaps she doesn't mind me saying, the smallest competitor in the field, but no doubt I certainly wouldn't want to take her on in a running race ever. But number 35, here the kick from USA. A lady who walked the race last year and uh, started the race, but uh, due to reasons couldn't continue. From Altona, number 36, Deb De Williams. A lady who I'd like to give a tip to, who I think probably would have done an extra 20 k's, except for the size of her uh, pigtail, <laughs> number 37, Sarah Barnett. Well done, Sarah. From New South Wales, number 38, John Reedy. A very courageous competitor. <laughs> Representing that uh, seventh state of Australia, from New Zealand, number 37, <laughs> Graham Best. I'll get in trouble for that. <laughs> from Victoria, number 41, Dan Miskin. If it hasn't been mentioned already, I'm sure it has, but Stan broke the, uh, the six-day race, a six-day world record for those over 80. To be congratulated. Uh, I should have to make comment of his wife, who uh, egged him on to continue going so that he made sure he set the benchmark high enough so that it might not be broken for some time. <laughs> Even though I think Stan would have gladly gone off the track for a while. Also from the USA, number 42, Andy Lovell. From Victoria, number 43, Jevon McPhee. Not here? Okay. Oh, sorry, Sebastopol. From Avondale Heights in Victoria, 46, Ron McGregor. From just slightly further away from Warrnambool, our first Indigenous runner this year, number 49, Albert Clark. <laughs> it should be noted that while not considered a record, it is a milestone what Albert has achieved and he set a benchmark for others to try and uh, surpass in years to come. Two to go, from Seaford, number 51, Brian Bloomer. Yeah. And our last runner who also broke a world record for at least the 48 hour rec uh, record for those over 80, from Montrose, number 52, Ken Matchett.
Folks, we're just about done, but there's one job that I would like to do that...